the basics. So when you start to use the robots, first, one of the first things you learn how to do is like, get it to move around. And then uh, you can do that with just like measurement and like you getting used to like angles. And then we try to encourage you to use sensors. And so we make the challenges like more difficult so that as you go through them, um, you don't have to use the sensors, but you're highly encouraged to. Uh, and then as you get farther along, um, we like make you use more sensors. So generally we would take something and we'd let you solve a challenge by moving it around, and then we'd have one where it's advantageous to use your proximity sensors. And then the later challenges, uh, we would make it so that uh, it, it's advantageous to use your IR sensor to know where you are on the grid. Uh, for Q, uh, we don't have a companion like Dot uh, to use the IR sensor. Uh, so, but we wanted to make a challenge that were, like you were encouraged to use your, your sensor. So in this case, um, I created this little challenge so that uh, Q has to use its proximity sensor to not only detect where the cups are, but also determine whether or not there is something hiding underneath the cup. Um, so, Layson, if you want to be my volunteer, uh, you can place the ball underneath any one of the cups there. Is she shuffled up? There you go. <laughs> Of the challenges like we encourage kids to like build some kind of uh, attachment to help them solve the challenge. In this case, uh, I have an attachment here that's these little arms that, that lets Q uh, lift the cups. So the cups have popsicle sticks attached to the top. So he will go up and he'll check the cups and he'll lift it and try to see if there's something underneath. Um, and so the, this little program, this is written in code. Uh, so first he's going to do them systematically by trying to uh, check from left to right. So the first thing he's going to do is going to check the left one, so he's going to move over to the left column. And so, uh, so he's moving cell by cell to try and stay uh, aligned with the cup. Then he's going to find the cup. He detects it, and once he knows that he's seen the cup, then he lifts it slowly. Oh. Oh. And if he finds it, he, he <laughs> said, woohoo, and the little light came on on his head. So now he knows he's found the ball. So then he's got to go around and uh, get behind it. And he's gonna, his, the goal is to try to get it into row one. Now if it wasn't under that cup, he would have checked that cup and then he would have backed up and he would have checked the other cups. Oh. Oh, nice. Oh, that still works. <laughs> 